Hey guys, so I've been getting a lot of messages about setting up the Google Sites. Um, I know it can be confusing, but it's definitely worth it because you're branding yourself. So I highly suggest it. Um, after you set up your domain name, you'll click, I believe it says basic for free is what it is. And it's going to bring you to like this site to where you can go ahead and edit how you want it to look. Obviously, I've already had one, so I won't be able to start from the beginning, but what I'm going to show you is some tricks and tips to help you kind of get it set up to where it's interactive and it looks really pretty. So let's start here. First thing I started when I did my page is I put this image in here. I got this image from Canva and I just updated it with my name, you know, my slogan, and then these pictures are actually from Canva. And you can do that right there because of upload or select images. And then you can pick which header type you want based off of your, you know, your preference. You can do a big one, zoomed in, a large banner, which is what I have, a small banner, or just the title only, which would be this here. Hi, the large banner, so we'll put that back. All right. And then you're gonna come down here, and this is where you're going to add some kind of, you know, selection of what you're going to advertise. So for me, I have travel, cruises, relax, and tours. Now the travel, the cruises, and relax are going to all link back to the job form as to where my tours actually links to um, the affiliate that we use, which is Viator. So that's totally two different things, which I will show you. But how you want to do it is, let's just say we'll go in here and maybe not duplicate. Let me do it like this. I just want to add a section. You can add a button, which are these up here, a divider, which will put the line. But I just want to do a section. So let's say, here we are. <clears throat> I'll add a text box. Pretty sure that's how it first started, right? And then you'll go in and let's say, let's add a button and you can insert your button. And if you want it to go back to a page, we can do a travel, right? And then we'll link it to the travel page. Now, in order for it to be able to link, you have to create your pages first, which I will show you how to do too. But for now, I'm just giving you a rough reference. And see, now we have our little button. All right, so let's delete that. And then you can go underneath it and add your pictures. I got these pictures, I believe, off of Google, I wanna say. Okay, and then you can also, let's go here. And here's my pages. You can add your pages here. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. You can choose your theme. I um, chose the simple one with the color blue because it matched the photo or you have several options based off of what you want. My logo is put in here, which you can create a theme, import a theme, and then it gives you an option to put the logo in as well. All right, so a lot of people, I've seen some people wanna do an image carousel. That's where the, it'll switch the photos out. You can do that as well on your screen. I have mine, let's see, down here, this is an image carousel and you can choose whatever photos and it'll switch it as it goes. I added this section by just clicking in between here. You can do that and if you want just for like this section this is my YouTube promo video I have. I clicked YouTube put the promo it adds it in there for you and you can change the colors of any of these sections as you can see one is like a dark blue one's white. I did that here Okay, and then let's keep going. Let's see what else. I just did this section here. These are links to become an agent or to request a quote. The request a quote will link them back, of course, to my quote page, but becoming an agent is an actual link that I added. Now, how to add a link. You will click this part, button right here, and we're gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna do, let's say, enroll an agent. Or we could even do a website. Let's just say travel dash. 
women, we'll put them down here. And the boy. And then it puts your link in there for you and it'll be uh, clickable for anybody that visits it. We don't want that there though. So that's how you do that. Let's see what else we got. I put my pot forms down here. Same thing with the links. I just put them all in there, you know, and then I made them into a link with the text. Okay. So then, like I said, before you can start linking things back and forth, you have to create your pages, right? So my first page obviously is home. And then I have quotes, travel, Walt Disney World, which I'll show you how to do. Events and text, uh, tickets, I'll show you how to do that as well. Join my team. It's going to have the enrollment link, cruises, relax. And then before you go is something that I've been working on. It's some travel tips for people. So when they do travel, they can have all these links to check for like COVID and any restrictions or passport needs. All of that's going to be in there for them as well. So in order to do this, you're going to hit the plus sign, right? So full embedded page, that's going to be from the Walt Disney website. The link to go to a page is going to be for golden tickets, or you can just do a new page in general, right? So let me show you here first how to get your Walt Disney World affiliate site and go to Disney Travel Agent Logins. And I'll even add one just to show you guys. I already have Walt Disney World, and I also plan on doing Universal. I just haven't got around to it yet, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Once you get signed in, you're gonna go to Disney Travel Agents. You're gonna go to Marketing Tools, Disney Site Builder, and it's gonna let you choose what site you wanna use. So let's see, click here to get started. And here we go. We're gonna choose embedded content. It says choose which Disney or official Disney content to add to your own site and blog. And I already have one created and I have a mini site that I use for my ads and sometimes brochures. So we already did Walt Disney World, right? So I'm gonna go here and let's do Disneyland Resort because that's gonna be a, our California option, right? A lot of people don't always go to Disney World. Sometimes they do go to Disneyland. Continue, let's go. Oh, oh I have to enter a title. Website to... So then we're going to do Disneyland Resort. You have all of these options, but you can only choose one at a time. So if you want to do each one, maybe your niche is going to be Disney. That is fine, but you're going to have to go back and do embedded each time. Okay. So my links are already put in here. You can add your links to your page if you want by clicking at it or add social media. This is my contact information. That's perfect. Continue. It's going to ask me what content I want. If you want to select it, go for it. But I don't care about that. It's fine the way it looks. The style, of course, my page is blue. So I'm going to leave that blue. And then we're going to hit preview and get code and get embedded code. Okay. <clears throat> and I have to come in here and copy. Okay. And then you're going to go back to your website and I want to create a page. So we're going to click full embedded page. We're going to name it Disneyland. And we're going to click done. And then you're going to click add embedded and you're going to click embedded code. Paste. Next. And it's going to show me what it looks like, and I don't really care. So let's just do it. And I'm going to switch this around because I don't want Disneyland Resort as my first option, obviously. But you get the rough idea. This is now on my page, and it will scroll down, but it's in a preview section, so it's not going to work. So now that you see how I did it, let's go back to pages. I don't want that as a second option. 
I'm going to put it right here and let's leave it like that. Well, no, actually, I like my bits and tickets, so let's go there. And then when people come to my page, they can see the more section and they can click to the name resort. All right. So now another prime example I'm going to show you is it's going to be um, how to put in a link, which is going to link them to a page. All right. So we got Disney World. Do the same exact thing with Universal. Okay. So let's go ahead and go to, let's just say, hmm, Golden Tickets. Right. Now, Golden Tickets, you can't actually log into it. You have to create the affiliate site that will lead them to your name. So you'll see right here, affiliate sign up. Yeah, yeah. Sign up form, let's go. And with that sign up form, we're going to put in my email, my name, and yeah, host agency is Archer Travel, and that's going to be my website, and my IATA number, I already have my stuff saved, look at that, go Google, all right, let's go, and submit, <laughs> congratulations, this is the link, you're going to copy this link right here, it says it's not live until the end of the next business day, but that's not true because I've done this myself and it works the same day. But nice advice, I guess. So then I'm going to come here, put a new link, and then we're going to paste that in there. And I named mine events and tickets. Okay. And it's going to open to a new tab. You can actually even click that. I will click it and see what it does. All right. So I already have one, so now I gotta go find the other one. Here it is. So now when we go to this page, let's see. And it's redirecting them. And for some reason in this, when it's preparing it, like in the preview section, it doesn't work. But when it's published, it'll work, okay? So now anytime that they book when they're inside this link, they I get the commission for it. As you can see, my name is up here. So I will get the commission and they don't even have to really talk to me. They can just go and book it or look, go and look themselves, which I think is a beautiful thing. If you're sending somebody to your website, you can simply just tell them, hey, go look at my events and tickets and we'll be able to book your stuff there, All right? So let's get rid of that. All right, um, I wanna show you both Disney World really quick. I really suggest putting this on your page because not Disneyland, not Disney World. Wait a minute. Oh, Walt Disney World. That's Disneyland Resort. Not what I want. Come here. Hold on. Now, see, that's going to be an issue. Maybe. Let's see. Yeah, so you actually cannot do two of them. I wonder if it's because I created another one. Okay, so with that being said, let's see. Why is it doing that? Leave my Walt Disney World. Oh, that was so beautiful. Yep. All right, so guys, if you want the embedded content for Disney World, make sure you either pick Disneyland or Disney or Walt Disney World. And I might have to find a solution for this because I don't like that. I like my Walt Disney World. It's beautiful. But all right, we'll move on. So now that you got the idea, that's how you do the embedded. Make sure you choose which one you want to go with because it is going to um, simply choose which one it wants to do. Now, some other pages you can see, join my team as evolution. The cruises is going to be a jot form. Let me go real quick. Give me a second, guys. I'm going to go real quick and get my charger because I don't want my computer to give me a minute.
right. Sorry about that. Maybe I should like, you know, charge my computer before I start doing this training. Anyways, so job form. That's a question I get all the time too. Is how do I put my job form in there? So let's go into job form. Log in. Okay. And we are going to I should already be logged in. Um, let's see. Okay. And you know, this is mine. So, but you are not going to be able to do it that way. You're going to use a template. From this template, I search Archer Trouble. And yeah, here it is right here. And you can click use this template. Okay. We're moving so fast. There we go. You can change the color to fit. You can put your logo in here. Okay. Change the color. And the questions are always going to be the same. The questions are great. So then let's just say, all right, fine, publish. It looks fabulous. Let's go. You're going to click embed it. Okay. Copy code. Go in here. Ooh. I'm on full embedded page. You can even do it like that. Let's call this quote page. that for you all right i put this itself under let's see a quote here now see for me i didn't do this originally but that's how i want you guys to do it so don't copy me because i was new and i didn't know what i was doing but you get the rough idea right so i did that for my quote page my travel page my relax and before you go is a little different i'll show you on that one these are just links. Um, I've got travel guidelines, travel tips, traveling abroad, stuff like that, just to have a little filler page, okay? And then for cruises, like I said, it's the same thing because we don't really have affiliate sites that I'm aware of. Maybe there is one, but you get the idea. I did the background with like some water. You can choose that through your images, but essentially what you're trying to do is to make it look like, you know, a professional website, right? So now that we have all of that done, you can go to publish. And I didn't even do much there. Actually, you know what? Let's not publish it because I don't want to change my Disney. But let's go in here. And I want to show you one more thing before I get off here. I know this training is a little bit more than I normally do. But I'm going to show you, let's see. This is the published version of it. Okay. And what I was going to show you is Disney World. Let's see here. I prefer the Walt Disney World over the Disneyland, and I'm going to show you why. Look how pretty this video is. That is a beautiful video. It's an affiliate site, but they see only my info, as you can see, Travel with Ash, and it's embedded. So if you have a choice between Walt Disney World and Walt Disneyland, I would highly suggest Walt Disney World because of that video is so pretty, okay? And one more thing I want to show you real quick is how to do the links with the buttons. See, if you click on tours on my website, it automatically redirects them to the Viator with my information inside of it, right? So how do we do this? So that's a great question. Let's go over here. Let's log in. Going to log in Google. Yes. Let's 
see if that works. Then it might take this one. Do that instead. Okay, now I'm inside. Now, what you want to do is go here. Let's go home. And it should say, let's see. I think this works just the way it is. Let's see it's on fire. So bookings, give me a second. It's been a while since I've done this and I don't remember what exactly I'm going for. Let's just say I've been working on this for a client. So let's just say here. But I think you just have to have your link because it's already got me in here. So where are we going? I remember where I seen this, I just don't remember where it was at. No, no. All right, let's see what I did. Hold on. Click on doors, where does that do? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's see. Actually, there it is. Lord have mercy. All right. So y'all saw what I did, right? Scroll down the bottom of this page. When you sign into Viator, click travel agents. Lord, why did it take so long to figure that out? Great question. All right. And then you're going to click this button right here, share with client, copy this link, right? And then let's go in here to give you an example. Select approval. All right, and then we're going to go here and we're going to go to pages, insert, new link, and then you'll put your link there in your name. All right, so that's it for you guys today. Thank you for joining me, watching my stuff. If you have more questions, just let me know, okay?